dozens of people are searching for a missing hiker in the 21 gorge. 21-year-old Riley Zickel set out on an overnight hike by himself. Colorado County Sheriff's Office is searching for a missing hiker on the Olympic Peninsula. Don and Trevor Higgins, the father and son were last seen Friday. They disappeared while hunting near Bear Camp Road above Agnes. 21-year-old Riley Zickel, the senior at Lewis and Clark College, and disappeared. A plea from friends of a woman who is missing right now in the Skamania County wilderness. She's 19 years old, Maureen Kelly. Searchers are looking for a 76-year-old farmer who did not come back from mushroom hunting near Grangeville. Hello everyone and welcome to the Pacific Northwest Missing Persons Project. As always, I'm your host Tanner Hoskins, co-founder of Pacific Northwest Bigfoot Search and the executive director at Pacific Northwest Missing Persons Project. At the time of this episode airing, our search and recovery team will be in the field conducting training exercises and conducting Bigfoot research in our hotspot location just north of Goose Lake, Washington, inside the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. This area has been the main focus of our Bigfoot research, as this is where our founding incident occurred in July of 2020. Upon our return from this trip, we will be releasing a video showcasing our trip, what we do in the field through team building and training operations, as well as what it's like to spend an evening in the backcountry near the Indian Heaven Wilderness in search of Sasquatch. We cannot wait to share our findings and experience with all of you once we are back in civilization. We also want to take the time to thank you all for your amazing support and dedication to our team's efforts. It's viewers, listeners, subscribers, and donators like you that make our mission possible. If you'd like to donate monetarily to our search and recovery mission, you can do so through the Pacific Northwest Missing Person Project website, www.pnwmpp.org, or through our Bigfoot Research website, pnwbigfootsearch.com. For our listeners in the United States, your donation is tax deductible. Whether you can donate monetarily or not, you just listening, subscribing, following, and sharing our team's story with your friends and family greatly benefit everything we do. We cannot thank you all enough. With all of that being said, let's get into this week's episode. This week's episode is going to focus on an area of the North Cascades National Park in an area known as the Diablo Lake region near New Halem, Washington. The first case that I would like to discuss is that of Alexander Pish, a white male, 35 years old, about 6 foot 1 inches tall and 160 pounds. Alexander was an incredible artist and found joy in painting landscapes around Washington State. On October 8th of 2020, park rangers operating in the North Cascades National Park area located Alexander's vehicle parked on the side of Highway 20 with his art easel and paint all perfectly set up overlooking a landscape that it appears Alexander was ready to sketch out. But Alexander was nowhere to be found. An extensive search and rescue effort played out until October 13th, with most of their efforts focused on the Colonial Creek Campground and the Diablo Lake area, but nothing of value was ever located. Unfortunately, the search efforts were called off on October 13th, with no clues being located as to where Alexander may have ended up. It's baffling to me. What could have happened to Alexander for him to simply walk away from his vehicle and his easel, never to be seen or heard from again? To make things even more strange, very close proximity to where Alexander disappeared in 2020, partial human remains were located by wildland firefighters on October 15th of 2022. The partial remains were a portion of a cranium that was found near Colonial Creek Campground. The cranium had been severely damaged by the blaze that impacted the area, and to this day, according to the National Missing and Unidentified Person System, also known as NAMIS, the unidentified remains have yet to be determined if they belong to a male or a female. 
Now these remains could be that of Alexander's, but there's also another missing person from the same area that happened in 2019, Richie Ambrose Collins from Bellingham, Washington. Richie was a 58-year-old male standing at about 6 foot 1 inches tall, weighing about 275 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. Richie had prior military experience and had spent most of his career working for the United States Customs and Border Patrol. Richie was described by people that knew him as being somewhat of a loner with few friends and a tendency to just keep to himself. On October 23rd of 2019, Richie was observed by his neighbors leaving his home in Bellingham, Washington, possibly with several firearms, never to be seen or heard from again. According to law enforcement and Richie's family, more than 30 firearms vanished along with Richie. On April 30th of 2019, Richie's vehicle was located at the Colonial Creek Campground with the keys to the vehicle left sitting on the hood. Law enforcement began to scour the area with search and rescue deploying almost immediately and focusing again with their efforts on the Diablo Lake area and the Colonial Creek Campground. Unfortunately, nothing of value was ever located indicating what happened to Richie or what happened to his firearms. Law enforcement to this day is not sure if Richie planned to disappear into the wilderness, if he succumbed to some kind of tragic accident, or if foul play is involved. Search and rescue efforts lasted off and on for roughly two and a half months before they were finally called off with no sign as to where Richie nor his firearms ended up. The next case that I'd like to talk about from this area is that of Ian Cox, a veteran mountain climber that vanished in the same general area on August 20th of 2022. Ian had gone on a solo climb along the West McMillan Spire on what is known as Mount Denenjart on a summit loop trail. Ian was an avid outdoorsman and loved everything that Washington State had to offer in terms of outdoor recreation. Ian was a rock and mountain climber, having summited Mount Rainier in the past, a mountain biker spending quite a bit of his time on the Olympic Peninsula, and an avid skier having raced down Mount Adams. Ian knew the mountains, knew the conditions, and was well aware of the risks that came with the adventurous activities that he loved. Once Ian was reported missing, search and rescue efforts lasted for weeks, searching for the experienced climber and outdoorsman, but nothing of value was ever located. It is believed to this day that Ian may have fallen into a glacier or other ice crack fault line on the mountain and died from his injuries. No sign of Ian has ever been located. And the last case from this area that I wanted to point out is that of Christopher Jarman. A 31-year-old male, standing at about 6 foot 3 inches tall, weighing 160 pounds, from Everett, Washington, that vanished on January 10th of 2021 after leaving his home in Everett, Washington, possibly with a firearm in his possession and with his beloved dog, a white blue healer named Bella. On January 13th of 2021, Christopher's vehicle, a 2008 Honda CRV, was located abandoned by park rangers along Highway 20 across the road from the Goodell Creek Campground. Search and rescue teams immediately deployed to the area once Christopher's vehicle was discovered, but no sign of Christopher nor his dog were immediately located. It is believed that Christopher may have been suffering from a mental health disorder at the time of his disappearance with his family stating that they believe Christopher may have been suffering from paranoid schizophrenia. It appears Christopher often believed that the government and others were attempting to kill him, and he also believed that his presence was putting his family in grave danger. This may have been the reason he took off and vanished in the way he, that he did. Unfortunately, it's also believed that Christopher may have been suicidal at the time of his disappearance. Two weeks after Christopher's disappearance, Bella was located about a half a mile from where Christopher's vehicle had been abandoned. 
Bella was reportedly just skin and bones by the time she was rescued and had a severely injured leg. According to a veterinarian that had checked out Bella the next day, Bella showed signs that she had been alone for, quote, quite some time. With Bella being located in close proximity to Christopher's vehicle, search and rescue teams, along with four canine teams, deployed back into the area in an attempt to locate Christopher. But once again, no sign of him was ever located. What is it about this section of Washington state that it can claim so many lives? It's a very rural and remote area with only that little town of New Halem being in the area. Yet this grouping of missing individuals is mind boggling. What are the odds that this many people can disappear within five to 10 miles of one another and no sign of them ever be located? Our team has our own plans to explore this portion of the North Cascades hopefully in the coming years. But in the meantime, if you find yourself adventuring in this region, please keep an eye out for anything that these individuals may have had in their possession. You never know when you may locate something that brings answers or closure to a grieving family. Thank you.